In this particular video, we will be discussing about an application that is Trip Collaborator, which will be using different services provided by Redis, and the application is built using Next.js framework. Uh, before starting, I'll introduce myself. My name is Abu Nomar and I'm a software developer as a profession. And uh, this application is built as a prototype of the bigger application. Although I am not planned to uh, launch it in the market, but this is just a prototype so that anybody who wants to get an idea about using the Redis service can utilize the source code. Now, before starting, let me introduce you what exactly Redis is. So mainly this is for all those who are totally unaware about what Redis is. This is a brief introduction. Basically Redis is a data store which is used to store the in the data in either in, in memory cache or it is a, it can be play a role of a full fledged database just like MongoDB. Also you can do, use it as a streaming engine and a message broker. So the PubSub model which you might have used with different different application like angular has a publisher and uh, like the rxjs which can work like a pub sub a similar functionality is provided by redis which which can help you in leveraging different features in your application like communication between different microservices and all those things so redis has their uh, official documentation on their official website which can be easily be found here so this redis.io is the application is basically the official website which has different documentation about different modules enterprises uh, offerings which redis provide so you can simply go through these uh, these documentation this website and get to know more about redis but before going here we'll try to understand about basic so that you are not completely a newbie while you are researching through the application Okay, now moving forward, uh, there are various Redis offering which uh, are being provided to us, right? But we are not using each and every one, but we are using some of them, just like a Redis search, a Redis JSON that is used to store our data in a JSON format. So this is a basically a module which provided by Redis. Uh, if you are sort of trying to use it on your local machine, you have to do it a setup of uh, of sort of downloading the module and using you starting your Redis with the that particular module initialize. But if you are using a Redis uh, cloud, uh, that will, I'll show you later how you can set it up. Um, then you just need to simply enable that uh, a checkbox and it will be automatically uh, configured for you, right? Now this third one is the Redis Insight. So Redis Insight is basically a Insight tool as the name suggests. It is a basically a tool in which uh, give you an extra effort in which uh, or an extra step to analyze your data. You don't have to just uh, run through the terminal all those stuff, but you will get a beautiful UI that I'll show you the UI as well. Maybe I'll show you it right away. So this is some sort of UI. We'll go through it uh, in the later part of the video, but just understand this is a tool which you can be installed on your operate on your sort of system based upon your operating system right now the final one tool which we will be using is of course the enterprise cloud so this is the cloud offering of redis which gives you as in like a, for a trial basis it provide you a database which you can create even if you suppose your data is sort of a, a bit uh, higher uh, configuration then you can simply use it as a you can use some of the free code which Redis offer that can give you an extra uh, like sort of uh, credit which you can use for buying the extra space right but for the basic application the, the free version will work fine let's go uh, about an application overview which we are trying to build now this as I told you the problem statement of this application is let's suppose you and your family is planning to uh, book a vacation for your next trip right now uh, the confusion is basically is you come across different different places on different social media but uh, deciding among those places and keeping a track of all those things that which all places you have uh, gone through or you have came across basically you don't have any platform for that so this trip collaborator is sort of a a, a tool which provides the ability of to different user to get to send and receive the places suggestion and they can um, like the they can sort of um, 
either reject the place or they can give a star or like something like that right so that uh, you came on like suppose you are group of five and maybe at one place gets four star right that means that everybody is interested in going to that place and you can finalize the that particular place for your next trip this is the phase one uh, like sort of uh, in the future for the places you can for the phases you can simply uh, improvise it right you can add the booking feature and uh, add different different feature in this application but this was just the phase one right now uh, i will go through the uh, browser and try to understand about the co the ui wise so basically this is the login page in which if suppose i have and i have like sort of stored the name and password in the redis uh, database but although password is not generally stored in the plain text but just for the tutorial purpose i have stored the password just to make the things a little bit easier right as soon as i put the uh, login username and password i'll reach to this screen this which is the feed screen which will contain uh, all the feeds all the list of all the places like first one is Eiffel Tower, Taj Mahal, the Liberty, uh, Iskon Temple, this all the stuff right now what will happen is as soon as i reach at this particular uh, screen i can simply uh, send my let's suppose i want to send this to my one of my friend i can click on the send button and i can send it to my to one of the users so i have sent the shared this particular location to that other person right now what the other person will see is the, he can he or she can go to this referred uh, screen and here they can find simply which location is being shared to them right so let's suppose this particular place is shared to me by the other person although this is not a full-fledged application so don't consider the edge cases which are not present but although um, even if i wanted to i don't have that much uh, bandwidth to add all those features because it, it if a like a full-fledged product requires years of effort right so this is the basic um, overview of the application now he if the person doesn't like the place they can simply cross it for now and um, we can give a like dislike button in the future but as of now he can simply he or she can simply cross the feature right now uh, moving forward we can simply go will obviously go through the code of this particular thing but and how we have done it but uh, before moving to the code we'll go through the redis inside that i've already told you this is a basically uh, the database which you create on the redis cloud you can simply connect to your redis inside software that is this one and here you can simply use your uh, things right you can simply view edit and all those stuff you can do it from direct from the ui right okay so moving forward so the, the redis cloud so this is basically something which is the bootstrap thing so you can simply create a redis uh, database account which is basically uh, a free tier connection is which has been provided to you you have been given three four op three options of the cloud one was aws another was google cloud and there was another one uh, I'm currently forgetting the name so basically you are given these three basic uh, cloud options you can select one of them you can uh, enter different different all the required field there's nothing much uh, required from you but simply just uh, setting up the environment and you will get something like this which is basically the name of your database which you have created and uh, the memory and the the things which you which is currently available suppose i have been given 30 mb and i have just used 3 mb so for the free purpose this is enough but of course if your database is if your data is a sort of more then you can simply use the coupon code there are different coupon code which you can use and sort of increase your uh, your database uh, sort of database uh, memory or memory and the uh, storage right this will help you store more data and do the analysis and all those things in that right now uh, this is the website the app.redislab.com where you can simply log in and register your create your new database once you have the database you will be give you once you reach to the database i'll show you one thing from the uh, cloud so see this is my database as soon as you click on the database you will have this public endpoint right this is the public endpoint which you will be connecting in your redis uh, inside if i'll try to do it again so sorry one second i'll go back and here you can sort of edit it 
and here you can simply this is my c public url i have just while i was adding the system into it you can simply add your public url here your port which normally if, unless you have changed it will remain the same and then there's default username password which you can simply get it from uh here you'll if you'll scroll down you can see your this is your default username and there is this default password which you can copy paste from here and connect your redis inside right now till now your basic setup is done you your redis db is stored uh, db is created your you have connected it with redis inside now the main part comes that how you will connect it with your application right now uh, i'll go to the visual studio code this is the editor which i have used you can use you can clone the application this is a like sort of a node application uh, so you need to have a node as a like a basic prerequisite in your in your system then you can simply do an npm install to install all the modules which will come under this folder that is node modules and then you can simply uh, for your local system you can simply do uh, i'll close this you can run npm run dev this will start your development server and the he, here you can see at localhost 3000 you can access your application right as soon as you uh, click on localhost 3000 it will redirect to either to your login page or your if you are already logged in it will redirect to your home page right uh, moving to the code, we have this two folder inside the pages. We have an API which contains all my API. Then there is this internal for internal folder which basically contains all my UI elements, right? Now this is the login page um, thing, which basically the login page which we have just seen. If I log out from the UI, this is the login page, which basically uh, is coming from here. Let's move towards the uh, Redis implementation. I'll show you the basic, uh, the overview about the application, the going through entire source code would be a bit um, time consuming and it won't be much helpful, but I'll tell you a basic about it. So I've used Redis OM, which is a, a third party, not a third party, but a, 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 a library provided by uh, like the uh, node, you can simply use npm i redis om and you'll be able to down, you'll get it in your node modules. Uh, simply I've used, I've created a new client, I've connected a connection if it's not connected already. So this is the process environment redis url, which you can simply create an env file. Here you can see env file, you can put a uh, url like redis url inside that env file, right? Once you are done with that, you can simply, uh, what I've done is I've created a class that is a location and then in location class I have simply created few properties like name, location, image which will be stored in our uh, ready store and this is the basic function in which I have just fetched the repository then I have created an entity and then I have saved the object which I will be getting from the uh, user. So basically uh, you have to have a uh, like a login form just to use this function but instead I have just created another function that is that will be taking an array of uh, things area of basically location and it'll be uh, this is just for a bootstrapping thing so it'll just uh, run through that particular array and simply store each of them in the uh, redis cloud database right so just to show you what how the data is stored is basically this is my redis inside tool inside the location you can see the different different database so we different data sorry so inside the one of the data if i'll open one of them so this it will be the final data which i have shown you in the array uh, not sure why it is maybe due to some network issue it is taking this time but otherwise it won't take let me refresh it once maybe some connection okay yeah sorry I'm not sure why it took that long generally it don't, it don't take that much long maybe due to some network issue it might be taking this much time so this is the same thing which I've shown name location image and description so this just stored inside this location um, thing location index basically and there's another index which i've created for user that which that one which you saw once uh, i we were at this point uh, when we were at feed and this set sent to so these users and the login information are present here so i've just stored the password directly here but generally generally or it is not a good practice to store password in plain text in your application this was just for a uh, basic uh, over you so that's why i have just stored the password just to make things a bit easier right once we are done with this so similarly i have used the redis search uh, so search this is the particular search which i have used so basically i have used this function which i have called 
just just in with an api i've just passed the uh, query param which user normally types for example here suppose i type this eiffel tower so it will be searching the eiffel tower right now sim similar thing uh, so i've done the same thing i've just passed that eiffel tower through api it reach here and if we have the value in this it will simply make a redis search like the repository i have just find the repo found the repository from the uh, thing and then i have just made a search function call and then i have passed the value like it should be equal to uh, the name location or description it should it should match with one of the values right so this is something which you can simply also do in your application and once we are done through this the final result is normally returned like suppose i have nothing it will return everything right so i have put this condition here if the queue is not present anything is not there in the query then it should return me everything so this is just a simple uh, you can see how fast the search is i've just entered it and it just returns me the value right this is actually very fast right it hardly takes milliseconds so this is basically something which we are uh, gone through it right just to wrap up the video there are many other offering provided by redis that it could be easily used in our project but just to keep the project simple i have used the main functionality that has enhanced the features and functionality of my overall project now these are some of the resources which you can easily read and read about the offerings that are provided by redis these are the proper documentation which will give you a proper insight about the entire redis and its offerings now there is also a link of redis om library that is basically a npm module which you can read and use for storing and fetching the data from the redis database and a small add on that you get the free redis database on redis cloud just for experimenting and playing around thank you thank you for watching Thank you.